<laughs> what the f what? Yep, yeah, that's bad. Hey, best pally, I'm Allie. And this is Max No Sleeves. How we doing? <laughs> Tell them all about yourself, Max. Um, I just. Alright, so today. <laughs> he's hilarious on the internet, go follow him. Anyway, moving on. We are doing an experiment today. Beer science. Yes, wait, hold on. I forgot about this. Here, we have our goggles. <laughs> so we can. Everyone makes fun of these, so. Yeah, looking good. All right. Safety first. There's this thing about skunking beer where I, I can't. Actually, I'm wearing contacts, so I can't see the <laughs> What's a skunked beer? A skunk beer is, is one that's turned and smells like skunk. Pot. It's, it's not good. <laughs> I consistently live my life basically superstitious about beer and trying my best not to skunk it. But I don't know what actually does it and there's conflicting information out there. Is it temperature change or is it exposure to light? And we're about to find out because I have done a bunch of things to a bunch of different beers and we're gonna taste them all. <laughs> taste them all and spit them out obviously. We're very classy scientists. <laughs> I've specifically chosen green bottles and clear bottles. That's what lets light in. Each of these have been in the sun or warmed and then put back to the same temperature. And then we have our control group where we're just gonna chug. The <laughs> label C, chug. chug. I may have already started. This is our palate cleanser, by the way. <laughs> we're not doing anything with Bud Light because it's in a blue bottle. Let's start with Corona Light. Mm. Beer. Beer. So then let's try a Corona light that's been cooled, warmed, and cooled again. Gosh, I wish I had a beautiful pint glass to drink this out of. <laughs> the Alice Magnolia Power Hour pint glasses. Smells like beer. Smells smells like beer. It does not smell like weed and or roadkill. That tastes like my control. Me too. That beer's fine. It's the exact same. Oh! How much, how much stress has been in my life about like keeping a beer cold? I wish I could call my high school self and be like, hey Max. You'll do, just chill. You're hot. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna try the one that's been in the sun for two hours. Now this one, I bought it warm, kept it warm, and just let the sun hit it for two hours and cooled it to the same temperature as the cold warm cold one. Wait, I should have smelled it first. Ah. <laughs> what the f what? It's deaf. Oh this my god. Mm, I, I mean, it's not like, yeah. I wouldn't say roadkill, but this is not right. No, that's a beer. This is. Ugh. Sun did it. Let's do Heineken. Grab your Heinies. This is what a Heineken tastes like, just usually. Give me your Heineken control. For those of you that aren't in the science community, <laughs> control means your regular beer. Here's how Heineken does. Alright, that's like a beer. beer. Let's do the warm first. This is the one that's supposed to skunk it. Cheers. The science. <laughs> oh, I forgot to smell first. It tastes kind of similar. It is um, I don't taste it like a Heineken. Difference. Heineken light. Yeah, this tastes fine. Just like kind of flat. Yeah. This is the one that's been out in the sun for two hours. Here we go. Beer science. This, this smells like a frat. Smells like my foot. <laughs> this one's worse than. Is this really worse? Oh, jeez. Nope. Uh -uh. Ah, terrible. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm reminded of like being a kid and being like, "Why do you drink beer? It tastes so bad, Dad." And why don't you come <laughs> home for Christmas? <laughs> why are you a check in the mail? And why don't you take your? <laughs> <laughs> too much. Too much. We'll cut that one out. Who's cool? What's her name? Stacy. Stacy. Oh, no, we're gonna cut that one out, Stacy. So we could just. He's talking to my editor right now. <laughs> She'll probably leave this. All right, here's the sun one. You want to do that first? You want to get it over with? I can't believe the sun is having this much effect. I thought for sure it was hot cold. Oh, we gotta try the control first. Der Stella. No. Ew. <laughs> Cheers. That to science. Good. Okay, that. To beers. Ah, oh, that's it was worst. almost a little sweet. No, that's it's in the back of my throat. I can taste the sun ruining it. It's the sun, people. It made me Jewish. I, what? Stace, that do that not put that no in there. Stace, do it. Do not put that in there. No, this was the worst. Yeah, no, this is bad. Did you even? No, goddamn it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Ah, yeah, yeah, it's bad. That's a bad beer, bro. We should, you know, we should Brita filter it. <laughs> Do we want to try the, oh my gosh. the the one that got warm, the one that supposedly I ruined in college? Dad, you led me so wrong. How did I? Mm. It's fine. <laughs> this is a great beer. <laughs> You're so drunk. I gotta get home from your place. <laughs> Oh, that's really nice, actually. <laughs> so it sounds like sunlight is the devil. Yeah, absolutely. Prove it! <laughs> but like, how much sun? I wish there was a way. I'm so glad you asked. I drilled down on one specific kind that's in a, a clear bottle to see how much sun exposure and how many times you can get it cold and warm and cold and warm without skunking it. Hmm. Let's have some champagne of beers. Dude, so like... <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. How's it taste? Oops. Mmm. Okay, let's try one that got cold, warm and cold, as this was the last experiment. I wonder what's gonna happen. Mmm. No mm. cheers, totally fine. Tastes fine, thanks dad. This one got warm twice. Ah, it smells a little off. This is too warm. You know what, I think it just smells off because it's high life. I think it's fine. These two it's are the, the same beers. It's the exact same. So this beer got warm twice yeah. and it was okay. What if it gets warm th thrice? <laughs> oh, Spags. You're such a scientist. I know. Prost. I'm so ready for this one to be f***ed up. It's not. It's the same. So many times I've had a skunked beer and been like, well, this person must have let it get warm. Wrong! It's a good beer. Oh, that's a, that's a good beer. I'm mad about it. I gotta, I'm gonna call my dad right now. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? It's your daughter from, you know, being in your family. <laughs> I'm calling you because this video is about how you skunk beer. I just got my beer warm and cold and warm and cold and warm and cold again. And this beer tastes fine. It tastes like, right. what? Or yeah, what, how, what yeah, skunks yeah. a beer? I, I personally, having been in this thing for f over four decades, I think it's a big farce. Coors sends their beer cold. Your, your, your warehouse has to be refrigerated. Your truck has to be refrigerated. Yeah. Here's all these beer it, it's shipped cold, it's born cold, whatever, it's got the dumb cold thing on the... Cold, it's black cold. On the can, it has a thing that says cold. I have, I have people come in, oh, I don't want it cold, it's gonna be in my, it's gonna be in my trunk till I get home. Oh, really? You know, like... That's just what we're talking about. If you walk in the back of my warehouse, you'd rather live in your trunk than be in the back of my warehouse. <laughs> I've just gotten to be so cynical about it. Uh, but, sounds like it. <laughs> Well, I appreciate your input. Thank you for helping the American people know the truth that your beer is fine. Bye. See you guys. Bye. Wow. That was amazing. Probably should have called him first. Yeah, really? <laughs> what is this video? We got one more thing. What if you have a beer that gets warm four times? Oh, That's God. so many times. Are you These kidding are me? Twist off. Oh. <laughs> this beer is fine. That is a good beer! So here's what we figured out. It doesn't matter if your beer gets warm and then cold again, as long as it stays out of the sun. Correct. We also learned that if a beer is in the mm. sun, it gets crappy. Correct. But how long does it take in the sunlight for a beer to get crappy? I don't want, no. Oh, let's find out. This is two and a half hours. We know it's gonna be bad. Here. I don't even want it. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Hold on. Yep, yeah, that's bad. Two and a half hours in the sun, not so great. One and a half. Let's try one. This and is half. definitely gonna be bad too. Hmm. I might be okay with that beer. It tastes a little off. Maybe it's a little off. Maybe don't put your beer out for 90 minutes. But it's not skunked. This has been out in the sun for 30 minutes precisely. Yeah, that smells like the last one too. It said, I can't. I can't tell the difference. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's because I've had too much palate cleanser. Yeah. Yeah. Tastes the same. Tastes like a beer. All right, let's go. We're doing 15 minutes. 
You know, I feel like I know. You might be able to taste this because you have a more sophisticated palate at this number of years. It's, it's fine. Turns out beer. I'm drunk. <laughs> so we know beer as a malt-based beverage does not need to be handled so delicately. Wait, malt-based? Wait a minute. Max, I got a surprise for you. I got some Zima. For those of you that don't know, Zima is a cool alcohol drink from the 1990s. This was Smirnoff Ice before Smirnoff Ice was Smirnoff Ice. Correct. According to my brain, and the fact that it is a malt-based beverage, as all of this is, Zima's a beer. And so we should probably be able to skunk it. So what I did, I got it warm three times. Warm and cold and warm and cold and warm and cold. That's and funny. then I put it in the sun for two hours. Oh my god. First, let's just see what Zima tastes like because I'm very excited. To science. To science. Oh. Oh, that is refreshing and delicious. It is! I did my best to skunk this Zima. It smells off. Maybe it smelled, smelled weird, but it's it just same. tastes like sweet. Ah, oh, why didn't that work? Ooh, I got a little skunk at the back. Nope, no finish. Unless... Right? I told you. Yeah. The very end. <laughs> so you can skunk Zima. You can abuse any malt beverage. Don't be confused and don't be misled by the sugar. Holy smokes, bags. You get your Zima. What have we discovered? One. That you can abuse your beer, get it cold and warm and whatever. Do what you gotta do to, to cart it around. You don't need to be so anxiety full about keeping your beer cold. Two. Two. Sun, sun is probably a culprit, so be concerned. And also, Corona, High Life, Heineken, and Stella, please think about repackaging your beers. Three. Zima's delicious. I don't actually have a three. This is, I, I really wanted to hate this. Four. Is there a four? If you do a beer test, you're gonna get hammered. <laughs> Accurate. Thank you for joining my channel. Thank you for being a beer scientist. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, go watch Max on his channel. Subscribe because he's hilarious on his own. If you want us to do more of these beering science experiments, hit us up in the comments. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs>